Let's make a quick goblet for the lost treasure scene. Just find any um, goblet that you like uh, that's got a side view to it. This is not perfect for doing what we're going to do, but but it'll work. So you can just find anyone and uh, bring it in as a reference image. And I'm looking from the front view and just sort of pull it up so that the 3D cursor is uh, at the bottom there. And then make it not selectable. Okay, come in here and choose that so that you can't select it and move it by accident. I'm going to bring in a plane and go to edit mode and merge the vertices at the center. All right, I'm going to slide this out and it's going to be a little awkward uh, for the base so I'm just going to G and I'm going to drag it up to about here. Okay, I'm going to press E and pull it up. E and I'm going to come into here. And then I'm going to press E and just come out a little ways. And I'm just going to start sort of tracing the profile of this thing. E and G. And come up to here and then come around in a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just, just make it follow the profile. I've done this a lot of times before. It ends up um, putting down a lot of points, but I'm just making a static image, so I'm not too worried. And we can touch this up later. I'm just going to notch this in a bit and then come out again. And I may skip this part and just keep going around here. I'm going to come up straight. And then we got this, and so what I think I'll do is I'm going I'm to come out and come up. And I think I'm going to come in a little and come out. And we'll, we'll look at this part here. And then I come up to here. All right, so I got that. Now I'm going to hide the empty. And this is my profile. I'm going to make the inside as well. So go back into edit mode. And I'm going to come out to here and I'm going to start coming down and sort of make it a semi a kind of a smooth inside to this I'm going to sort of follow the profile here the shape of this thing I think I'll do this though make it a little nicer then we'll smooth it, smooth it off with a subdivision. I keep coming down and around here. I want to start heading back to the to the Z axis there. That's good enough. Now I'm going to take this point and I want it to be right here. So I'm going to press N, item, and in X I'm going to press zero. It's right on there. All right, well, this is not the nicest goblet I've ever made. I'm just going to make that a little bit thicker. All right. Let's see what that's going to look like. Uh, I'm just going to uh, adjust some of these points now that I think about it. Not sure about this down there. All right. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the modifiers and we're going to choose screw. And I'm also going to choose subdivision and I'm going to go for probably two. Let's take a let's have, let's have a look at this. I like this and I like this. I like coming up look from the front and I can adjust all of these points the way I like so I'm going to do this I'm actually going to select those two points and subdivide and I can pull up another point if I want to let's just come up and see okay so this is the area that I want to do something with just think for a second if I want that to go. I'm going to want that to go in, uh, but I can do that in a minute. So I'm just going to take this and hmm, 
Okay, that's going to be all right the way that it is. And I think. And then we can move some edge loops. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just see what happens with this. So let's go ahead and apply that. I'm going to select this and M merge by distance. We get rid of a few. Should be okay on the inside, relatively okay. Okay, let's um, let's come up here and just put one edge loop just to sharpen that a little, little bit. Now this stuff here. Let's do this. Let's take this and actually let's just throw in an edge loop in the middle and Control B and do that. Let's try E and Alt S and push it in. Okay, a little bit sharp for what I want. Um, let's see. Okay. We'll just move some edge loops around. I'm going to pull this down a bit. I'm going to pull this one down. I just want to give myself a bit more room. This down. And I am going to take this again, E and Alt S. Then I'm going to push, push in. And then we'll uh, turn off the subdivision. And come back and pull stuff down a little bit. Yeah, let's, let's actually uh, maybe delete that edge. Dissolve that edge. Put that back on and see where we're at. Yeah, we're going to put something right inside there. So maybe we're going to do this. And, you know, just pull stuff around until you get a shape that you like. In fact, I think maybe I will come up a bit more. Yeah, I think I can get rid of that one. And... I'll pull this one up a little bit more, make that a little bit tighter. I might want one there. Nah, not really. I want to try dissolving that, seeing how I like that. I think I like that a bit better. Um, I want some more room in here, however, I see. So I'm just going to grab as many of these as I can. In fact, I'll probably grab these ones here too. Give myself a bit more room in the middle and also make this a little bit thicker. Okay. And this thing here. Um, let's see if I scale this out a bit. Yep. All right. There is my goblet okay and let's go into UV editing there's the front control one is the back um, I am going to shift alt and click there and uh, let's see let's turn that off and I'm, I want to deselect all this stuff here To there and I'm going to shift alt and click there control E mark seams let's uh, unwrap press N and I'm going to use text tools with a checker map I need to see it there though let's see what we want to do here okay well let's go in this to be 2048 you could go with that let's try that okay so I've got that let's export that
going to choose 2048. And there's my goblet. Big mesh maps, I'll go for 2048. Choose smart materials and this bronze armor. Okay, and that gives me some nice dirt and stuff, anyhow. So, okay, that's my base uh, right there, and I'm not going to do anything else uh, with it. I'm just going to add some more details. Let's go to orthographic and look there and going to put some something in there so I'm going to create a fill layer and a black mask and I'm going to click on there and we'll come down and I want just height I think alt H we'll bring the height up to maybe 0.7 or so somewhere in that area and back to here and for the alpha I think I will come to alphas and look for something kind of circular. I'm thinking about what? This one here, I think. zoom in on this upper area here. I'm going to turn on symmetry, radial symmetry in the Y. We're going to go for 360. I'll slide this up to the maximum. And let's just have a look at what happens if I stamp down. Okay, so that's not obviously what I want. I'm going to put border width up to zero. Let's just try this. Yeah, that's more what I want. Let's lower the hardness. Let's make this maybe eight. Okay, I'm going to go for something like that. So I'm going to zoom right in. And still a bit big, I think. Okay, a little bit smaller than that. Let's try that. Just for a little bit of detail there. All right. And I think I'll stay on that layer. And do something down here now. Let's look around for a cool design. the size let's see what this would be like um, maybe I will actually make a new one just with height I want it up maybe not quite as high something like that okay You know, just to get some kind of design on there. Let's do this. Sweet. 
get another good little design on there. Okay. And that's all I really need to do. Just a little bit of detail in there. Okay, I'm going to shut off symmetry. And this is how she looks. Great. I like it. So now I'm going to save that. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to call this Goblet Material. And I export these textures. Goblet Video, Goblet Material, that's fine. export done saved come out of there and what I'm going to do now is I am going to change this and get rid of that and create a new material called goblet material and I'm going to copy this into my scene. I'm going to scale it down. Let's work with that and see how she looks. Shading editor. You. There we go. You. Goblet materials. Select the principal BSF. Shift Control T. And find the goblet. And select them all. here and I have a goblet another piece of uh, riches or treasure in this scene cool